I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, we are speaking to Dr. Carolyn Mine about her amazing book. It is called Different Bodies, Different Diet. It's about discovering your precise body type and achieving optimal health through the right diet. With years of experience and a revolutionary approach to dietary and nutritional questions, Dr. Mind's body type system offers a unique solution for anyone looking to improve their health and well-being. Get ready to learn what exactly you should be eating, when you should be eating it, and how to feel and look your best with Dr. Mind's expert advice. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us here today on Spotlight. Thank you. It's my pleasure. It's so nice to be here with you. Pleasure is all mine. Love your book. I think it's what people need because they hear about the Atkins diet or this diet or that diet. And it's not a one size fits all solution, right? What I was finding is there's so much. Absolutely. And there's so much confusion when it comes to diet. And that was why I ended up writing the book. I found that I couldn't just give people a blanket diet and expect that to work because there are certain dietary principles that we all know, um, like don't eat sugar, avoid the, the, um, uh, the dairy a lot of times, but some people do well with dairy, same mm. way with gluten. And so how do you know what's going to work for you? I also found there's a lot of confusion as to, um, can I be a vegetarian? Um, do I eat my larger meal in the morning? Do I eat my larger meal in the evening? Um, I found that there was so much difference when it came to even looking at diets and people would uh, follow a diet. They'd get rid of a certain amount of weight and then they went back into the normal area of, of life and what am I going to eat and found that they, they were lost. They didn't know how to eat to be able to eat in a manner that it truly supported their body. And so I really started with a lifetime eating plan to see what do you do to maintain, to achieve and maintain optimal health and wellness, whether you want to gain weight, lose weight, or maintain weight. What are you looking for in each individual to tailor the specific dietary needs? So of in order to determine body type, uh, we can look at just physical shape. And so this is where we see things like endomorph, mesomorph, ectomorph, or apple, uh, pear, uh, different body shapes and different typing systems. And so I do find that there's a big difference when you look at the physical area. It's like some people, when we look at women, women will gain weight in either upper body, lower body, or all over. Mm -hmm. And in working with thousands of women. I have yet to find a woman that doesn't know where that is. <laughs> um, men, it tends to be an area of, well, where do you gain weight? Well, around the middle. Okay, right. that's good. Now, <laughs> how do we go into something that's going to be a little more uh, specific and a little more distinct when you're looking at how do you determine what your body type is? Is our food pyramid right, wrong, indifferent? What are your thoughts on what we're told to eat, what should be at the top of the pyramid and so forth. Again, it depends on what your body type is. Mm -hmm. And so we see different typing systems that, that focus primarily on um, the, the grain aspect, now, which is when you look at the pyramid, where is that? Or the, and of course the vegetables are basically your constant, but it's a matter of when do you eat vegetables? There's even a particular body type called medulla and vegetables are so important that if they will eat a bite of a vegetable, and so that can even be drink a little bit of, of tomato juice as far as the first thing you do and then eat. If they do the vegetable, then they're able to digest the protein and grain. But if they just start with protein grain first thing in the morning, they don't digest it very well mm. and it's subtle. And so a lot of times when you're not digesting things very well, it shows up as excess weight and it's not always a huge amount of weight. Sometimes it can be various different forms of, of um, indigestion in that I just don't feel as well, or my energy is not as good as it should be, or I need that cup of coffee in the morning in order to get me going. 
And so when your body is truly supported, then you don't need all of these additional stimulants. Absolutely. What would you like the readers at home and the viewers at home to know about your book? What can they expect when they open up the pages of your book? Well, well, the first thing is when you look at determining your particular body type. And so there are actually 25 different body types. It's based on your dominant gland, organ, or system. Mm -hmm. And so that determines where do you gain your weight, types of foods you crave when your energy is low, can you be a vegetarian? Do you need something that supports your system more? And so while I started with the dietary and exercise area, I found that there's also a personality profile. And the personality profile is the area that I find that's actually the most profound because it explains why we don't all think the same way and why we have certain expectations of ourselves. And we think that if we can do something easily, somebody else ought to do it if they'd at least focus on it and, and put a little bit of attention on it. It's not true. Mm -hmm. It's looking at where your characteristic traits are. And so what that does is it tells you where your strengths are. So when you're looking at a career, for example, that's huge. When you're looking at relationships. That's another area that's major. Because the tendency is we have different expectations of people. And so once we understand who they are, then we can look at what's realistic and let go of those unrealistic expectations and really appreciate people for who they are. Absolutely. So I find that they, the personality profile is the one that um, actually has so much depth to it because you're looking at not only who you are and who your characteristic traits are, that's like your whole default system, but it also goes into where your strengths are, where your challenges are, what motivates you, uh, where's your passion. So it's, it's a major self-discovery. It's essentially an owner's manual for the body. Great. Yeah, that's a great description for the book, an owner's manual for the body. And we all need that. Um, we need instructions for our kids. And we need an owner manual for ourselves. How does your system take into account different factors like age and activity level when it comes to your dietary recommendations? Well, one point that you made about kids. And so the tendency is we tend to think that our kids are many us. And mm -hmm. so that's the problem because not really knowing you're wanting to do the absolute best you can for your kids. And in doing so, then it's a lot of imposing your will on them rather than seeing them for who they are, supporting them for who they are and allowing them to be the best person they can possibly be. And so what I find when it comes to um, the age, so age, they, the body type doesn't change. It's, it's like your astrological chart. And so you can look at different areas of development going from the um, at worst to the at best. And you can see different areas where that shows up. You can see how there are times when um, you've gone through different periods in your life where you've explored the at worst side. And then you go in and look at what's a better way to do this, what I learned from it. And so from the dietary area, the basic principles are the same, regardless of age. And so another thing that I find even with infants is mom looks at what her body type is and looks at the body type of the baby. And so if she is nursing, for example, and there are rarely foods for the baby that um, are foods that are very supporting for her, if she eats those foods, then it will affect her milk, which affects the baby. Right. So this is one of those other areas where it's really helpful to, to understand a, a greater picture and knowing what's for, what works for that particular person. Your body type is something that you're born with and mm -hmm. it does not change with age. Right, exactly. I'm a tall, lanky person. I'll always be a tall, lanky person. It's a, both a blessing and a curse. If folks at home want a little more personalized advice 
Is there a way for them to get in touch with you for a consultation? Is that something you offer? Well, there is, but then the other area is my website. And my okay. website is bodytype.com. And on my website, there's a lot of just general information about all the 25 different body types. But there's also a link where you can take a test. And so what the test does is that will allow you to determine what your particular body type is. And then you will also get the ebook, which goes into what are all the foods? What's the personality profile? It's basically what's the information that you need for your particular body type. Wonderful. It's bodytype.com. Simple as that. Go there. There's more information. It's a good complement to your book, which is different bodies, different diets. It makes tremendous sense. Tell us about the writing process. I'd imagine this was quite rewarding for you, writing this book, knowing you'd be helping. So many people out there struggle with their weight, their appearance, and more importantly, their health, going from diet to diet to diet, never finding one that fits. Well, exactly. And so this is why early on in my career, I started exploring various different dietary systems. And I kept finding limitations with each particular one. And so one by one, I started discovering that there were more types. And so the, the breakthrough was um, a Bravenel's book that was based on Dr. Beeler's work, where he was talking about the glandular system, the adrenal, the pituitary, and thyroid being the strongest glands. And then Bravenel had uh, written a book where he mentioned another type for women, and that was gonadal. I thought that's a little strange. What do you mean we don't have men whose dominant glands go natal? And so um, then I started looking at other systems. I found another system that had described eight different types. And of that, there was one called pancreas, which I looked at as an organ as opposed to a gland. And um, another type called balanced, which meant that there was no one gland organ or system that was in charge, but they all needed to get along together in balance and harmony. And so as I started working with those, I found there were limitations in that system as well because I, I started discovering other types. And so one by one, I discovered additional types until I got to 25 different types. And then from there, it was really going into more detail with the various different foods. So I've taken the foods and put those in three different categories. As you're frequent, that's kind of your default. If you don't know what else to eat, that's a good one. And then we have the moderate, which is where the bulk of the foods fall. And these are ones you're going to do one to two times a week. It gives you a lot of variety. And then we have the rarely foods, which is not never, once a month or less. These a lot of times are the ones that are the stimulants that give you that extra push, but also the ones that create more stress. And so when I looked at those three lists, I also put those lists in two different categories. One is when you're at your ideal healthy state, what are foods that support your system most? And then the other extreme, if your body is really stressed, what can you still eat? And so now you've got the parameters between the two. So you've got a, a bridge between the different ones. I find most people are more on the healthy side than the, um, than the sensitive. Um, and it will fluctuate. So it gives you that range as far as where you go. It took me seven years to discover all 25 body types. It took me six years to write the book. I thought a year, two years, I never dreamed it would take me mm. six. And so then um, after I self-published, then HarperCollins picked up the book. And um, the next challenge was how do I get this to where people can um, just figure out their body type by themselves. And so that is what I did with, with my website. And that has been very successful to where people are able to, a lot of times just even reading through the profiles, figure out their type or, or the, the test looks at physical characteristics. It looks at personality characteristics as ways of really determining who you are. Wonderful, wonderful. The name of the book is Different Bodies, different diet. It is written by Dr. Carolyn Mine. It is an owner manual that you need to stay healthy, to stay fit, and keep your appearance 
at its best. We're delighted to have the doctor join us here today on Spotlight. And there's the book right there. And her website is bodytype.com. That will be on your screen as well. We thank the folks at Good River Print and Media for helping us put Dr. Carolyn Mine in the spotlight today. And doctor, thank you so much for being our guest. Thank you so much. My thank pleasure to the folks at home. I'm Logan Crawford thanking you for your time this time until next time on Spotlight.